Right, hello again folks. Right, now we're on to the Tower Knight in Demon's Souls. I found this uh, boss really tricky. I know a lot of people say he's quite easy, but I found him really hard. Um, this video is a bit of a makeshift video because I uh, lost a lot of video footage, but hopefully you get the idea of what I've been doing, or what I did, to defeat this particular boss. I was pulling my hair out for a long time, uh, looked up a lot of YouTube videos to see how people were doing it. You know, even with, like, cheese methods, I couldn't do it. Obviously, get rid of the archers, especially if you're in, like, rookie mode, like me. So, still learning. So, basically, what I did um, was, uh, when we came through the fog gate, which I lost in this particular video, just run straight past the, uh, the Tower Knight boss up the steps, get rid of the archers, and uh, while you're behind the pillars and uh, up these steps... Um, you're safe from the Tower Knights, but you just want to avoid his blue bursts, his blue magic shots. You can hide behind pillars to avoid those, but he can get you in certain places if you peer your head over the top of those walls. So, um, anyway, this video footage was actually taken before I actually beat him, so it was the video before, and somehow I just lost the actual video. Or it didn't record or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, I cocked it up, and um, this is the video that we got, which is the video just before the one where I actually defeated the boss. So, um, anyway, it's the, the principle's the same. So there you are, you see me running down and you just run past and see if you can get a couple of shots on his ankles, if you can, and then just run up the steps. Um, as you can see, I got hit even in this, um, using this method, so even this takes a little bit of practice and can be a bit frustrating, so it took me a couple of times to um, actually complete this using this method or defeating the boss using this method so um you can obviously re-heal or heal if you take some knocks from the knights he takes a lot of damage um i'm not especially well leveled up um, at this point defeat a few bosses i think i came down here after the adjudicator or leechmonger something like that and uh and that was that so anyway he's fallen over there which i actually missed because i was concentrating on the game so i missed it so as you might have seen in other videos, they bonk him on the head, you know, to, to uh, reduce his energy even more, or his uh, HP. Um, I missed out on that one. Um, but while I was trying to defeat the Tower Knight here, uh, he's, his head fell into the wall. So I, I, I did actually sort of hit him in his crotch area. Um, when I could do, I could actually get to his head, but you can cause... Uh, a hefty amount of damage if you hit his crotch area. And um, so if you can't hit his head, you can always go for that. You don't really see that in this video. Like I say, this is a bit of a makeshift video, but you get the overall idea. So uh, yeah, just keep uh, running around. Run down the steps, run past the Tower Knight, try and get a, a hit on his ankles. Um, and just keep doing that. And he will fall over eventually. This is a lot. This takes a lot longer than um, the methods that you've probably seen already, but um, it does work. You just got to be careful not to get hit, you know. And, uh, and that's about it. I think it's actually like for, for looks. I think he's one of my favourite bosses, the Tower Knight. I think he looks absolutely amazing. When I saw it for the first time, I was like blown away. I mean, they're all great. Um, this one though just looks so spectacular. So there we are, this is just a bit of a clip there which is obviously from the trophy thing because uh, this is a makeshift video so we did actually defeat him. Um, you can see there he smashed the his shield down just before he died. So there's a little window there. I thought I was going to die now as well because they could take some energy, he can take some energy away. So anyway, I hope this video helps. I'm sorry it's a bit makeshift, but it might help those who want an even easier method to defeat the Tower 9. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.